Good morning. Our devotion for today is Ezekiel chapter 33, A Watchman for the House of God. Our key verse is from Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33. When all this comes true, and it surely will, then they will know that a prophet has been among them. Prophet Ezekiel was used by God very effectively to relay his message to a people who had gone far away from God by rejecting his commands through intentional singing. God used Ezekiel in unique ways and very graphically portrayed his message to them. In verse 7, God has appointed Ezekiel as a watchman over the house of Israel. God has called Ezekiel to be like a night, a night watchman, one who faithfully warns when danger is approaching. As long as a watchman is faithful and clear in his warning, he is not held responsible for how people respond to his alarm. But if he sees coming danger and does not sound the alarm, he is held responsible. In the case of Ezekiel, punishment would come directly from God if he failed to report to the people the message God gave him. Makikita po natin yun sa verse 8, no? While commissioning Ezekiel from the solemn duty of watchmen, God directs him to listen from his mouth and then give the people warning from God. While the watchman, in the ordinary sense, is expected to cease with his physically eyes and warn people according to what he understands. The watchmen in the God's kingdom are required to see with their spiritual eyes and understand what God is speaking to his people in the body of Christ. Ezekiel was to warn people even though they were a rebellious house and whether they listened or not in verse 9. No? A God's heart was inclined to save, to save them. So God wanted the prophet to warn them and correct them from their ungodly ways because God loved them intensely. God loves His people and He does not want them to perish but, a, but to repent and live eternally. However, God is searching for a pe- for people who will be a watchman, who would stand in his council and announce his words to his people, and would turn them back from their evil ways. If you are a church leader, God wants us, the leaders of a church of the church to take up the solemn responsibility of guarding you know, God's people from the attack of the evil one by hearing from him and warning them. As the coming of the Lord is a very near, false teaching are creeping into the church. While we commit your life to take into your heart and me- the message of God spoken through his word, in his servants, listen carefully and then speak to the flock of God. If you're a Christian, I believe that every believer, every location throughout the world has also been called to do. Warn others about eternity. We Christians are to tell the to tell people the right way of eternity to eternity when we speak God's truth in love to others and when we pray for them then we fulfill our responsibility as we start our day let us let's us no God let's us God to help us to fulfill our part in sharing the gospel and ask him to lead us to an opportunity to do that. Thank you and God bless everyone.